Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this tutorial, I will show you in Python using Django Web Framework how to connect and binding data into a drop down list, which is a select option element from MySQL PHP My Admin Database. And here we got the final output the header tags, how to connect and bind data into drop down list for MySQL using python with django framework below that we have the drop down list see here charan jack ben peter mahi we have binded this emp name charan jack ben into the select option element using python with the django web framework if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous Python and Django tutorial series. You will get that video playlist at the end of this video tutorial. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I just logged into my PHP my admin database which is my SQL. And the table name is EMP data details which contains four columns ID, EMP name, email and salary. Now my aim is I want to bind this EMP name column into a select option element which is a drop down list control and I have created this table in sample db database this is a sample db database so let's write the coding part in visual studio code notice in this visual studio code the left side there is a panel explorer panel which contains three options option open editors python django and outline and the second one is a python django which is my let me expand this python django folder and notice there is a subfolder called my project and this my project i have created in that django web framework and if you don't know how to install the latest version of django web framework and how to create a new project you will get that video link at the end of this video tutorial now let me expand this my project and there is a subfolder called my project let me expand that one also and these all python files has been created automatically when i created a new project in django web framework now let's add a new folder Right click the project name, new folder. In the folder name, I'm giving the templates. And this templates folder contains all my HTML files. So let's add an HTML file in this templates folder. I right click the templates, select new file, and do the file name is a display records uh, .html. And here we got our HTML page. Now let's add the HTML file. Doc five. I'm closing the HTML tag. Now inside this HTML tag, I'm adding the header section. Let's close the header section. And the header section, I'm adding the title. And the title is um, connect and bind data into drop down list this is my web page title name now after the header section i'm adding the body tag inside this body tag i'm adding the headers h1 now in the header tags i'm adding how to connect and bind data into drop down from my sql and second header tax using python with django framework web framework after the headings i'm adding the horizontal line now after the horizontal line i'm adding a select option element which is a drop down list 
select inside the select there is a sub element called options option and the first option is a default label for the drop down list here I'm adding select employee name and I want to make this option I'm disabling disable is equals to true and selected and the second option element I want to bind records this EMP name the employee names from this table into this option element so first let's save this HTML file save all now we require one more Python page I'm selecting a my project subfolder I click the my project click new file I'm adding the models.py now in this models.py now in this models page first I'm declaring from django.db import connections connections and the second one is a django.db I'm importing uh, models after that I'm creating a class show EMP is a class name in this class I'm creating a models dot model colon notice when I enter colon the cursor is blinking with some space which is an indent so make sure write the code where the cursor is blinking mm, here I'm declaring a variable here I'm declaring a variable to get this EMP names so EMP name is equals to models dot field max underscore length is equals to 100 after that we'll create a new class called meta colon db underscore table is equals to between double quotes i'm adding our table name which is emp details copy this one and paste here that's it we have created a class with uh, on property name and we have defined our table also in this meta class now let's save this file save all now I'm adding one view page again go back to my project right click the mouse new file I'm adding views.py and now in this views page I'm calling this models first in this view page let's import render class from Django dot shortcuts import render so to browse the HTML templates we require this render class that's why I have import and the second one from we need to add our models folder also so this models folder is in my project so add my project name dot um, the models import now in this models I'm adding my class name which is show EMP call this show EMP uh, in the views after that let's define a function define show EMP names is a function name the request colon and return this function return render request comma now the second parameter between double quotes I'm adding 
my page name display records dot html display records make sure you do the right name comma and the third parameter is let's define the variable and results is equals to the emp name we are getting from this uh, models from this class name so let's add show emp dot objects dot all method and let's add these results here between double quotes my class name is show emp colon this is dictionary so let's put this in a dictionary between curly braces now after the column add the results variable this one that's it that's it let's save this file save all up to now we have created one html page to display the records on model and use python pages now let's open uh, urls notice in these urls there is a default url patterns which is our home page admin for this my project so which i don't require this default admin page let's first import from dot import i'm importing the views because our page name display records we have added in this views page so let's add views and in the url patterns let's add the routing here single calls i'm not adding anything so what if you're not adding it's a home page the default home page then views dot in this views page i'm adding the function and show emp names let's add that one that's it we have configured the url path also now the final step we need to add our configuration the connection string configuration in this settings.py let's open that one now first in the settings.py come to the bottom notice the installed underscore app section here we need to define our application so between single quotes our project name we need to add my project name is my project so this is very important step after that next we have to add our templates the base directory in this dir section between square brackets i'm adding os.path dot join method and the join method mm, i'm adding the base directory basc underscore dir comma between single quotes templates the folder name i'm adding after that now we have to configure the connection string of my sql php my admin database if you notice in the settings.py in the databases section this is a default configuration for sql light so which i don't require i'm deleting my sql light 3 and adding my sql here the name is between single quotes my database name our database name is sample db this is a sample db let's copy this one and paste here now next attribute is the username colon that means single quotes my username is root comma password D colon 
I don't have any password so I'm leaving blank here if you have any password please enter that one comma and the sec and the next one is a host make sure you do the capital letters host colon the host is a local host here the host is local host comma and the port also and I'm adding our port number also to get the port number see 3306 let's add that one the port number between single quotes I'm adding 3306 and the last one options now in these options between single quotes I'm adding init underscore command colon between double quotes set sql underscore more is equals to again single quotes inside this single quotes strict this is a capital letters underscore trans underscore tables that's it we have done the complete coding part we have configured our connection string mysql in this database section in settings.py page now let's save these all files save all once i save all files now the final step open display records now we need to call this emp name for that i'm using between curly curly braces percentage percentage for results in i'm adding my class name which is a show emp show emp now here i'm adding curly braces double curly braces double curly braces in this expression i'm calling the results dot we need to add our column name emp name emp name after that percentage percentage and for that's it let's save this file save all now we need to run our server open selection now view debug console switch to terminal and notice the path shown is python django which is my project folder name i have created the project in this d drive there is a subfolder called my project let's add that one my project sorry cd my project now the next step the most important is we need to install mysql client so pip install mysql client enter and the requirement is already satisfied which means the packages has been installed successfully and now let's run the server python to run the server we need to add this manage.py manage.py run server click enter and notice here i have no issues found in this project and this is our server control and click the mouse And here we got the final output, the header tags, how to connect and bind data into drop down list for MySQL using Python with Django framework. Below that we have the drop down list. See here, Charan, Jack, Ben, Peter, Mahi. We have binded this EMP name, Charan, Jack, Ben, into the select option element using Python with the Django web framework. That's it.